secure the brackets a lot better it's just kind of a janky setup really if you want, really want to do this you want to use a hook rivet a good rivet <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to 806 Driver. New to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Been with us for a while. Welcome back y'all. Well today, having a little shop day. Boss man changing out a air dryer. Changing out the air dryer on the on, on Old Blue. I don't know we gotta come up we gotta come up with a name for Old Blue, I guess. But uh just uh did a PM on uh on the rat rod there's some air filters here we still got put in we just changed the oil and the fuel filters and greased it we had a had a request i'm about to put the new drop visor on the new drop visor is going to go right up here and replace that little eyebrow um i had a request from a few people wanting to uh see how we we're going to do it so basically we got to take this whole headliner unit right here down which looks like a lot but it's not really that bad get it all out of the way and then have to go out here oh get on top get on top all right i gotta take all these screws out remove the the original uh eyebrow here and then these brackets are riveted in, so we'll have to uh, we'll have to cut these rivets out, and then go back with the new with the new visor. So shouldn't be. I've done it before. It's not too bad of a job, but uh, just a little tedious, a little time consuming. But got all our oil there. We'll have to replace a coolant valve here. It's leaking a little bit. Buff man, he's all dirty. He's been doing something today a little bit. He's working on that air dryer here. Getting the old one, changing all the fittings over. I wonder if he had noticed if I turned one a quarter a turn on him. <laughs> he's got a mark already. He's free. He's pretty fart smeller. I mean a pretty smart feller. So <laughs> anyway, uh we're gonna get started. Phone's ringing. See you here, my boy. I'll holler back at y'all. All right. That was uh my boy. He just got his doctor's appointment this morning. He's got a cyst on his knee, and they're gonna have to do an MRI, and it's affecting his running a little bit. And this is the year he we were supposed to maybe get a scholarship out of his track year, but he's still gonna run. They said he could run as long as it wasn't bothering him. He says it bothers him to run a little bit, so he's not gonna be at a hundred percent. And so scholarship wise it probably ain't going to happen now but it's all good he can still use my hazelwood act uh from, from my army my army money to go to school on so that's it's still not that big of a deal but anyway they want to call it their comeback from amarillo and gonna bring something to eat so what we're gonna do here first is i'm gonna take all of this down so i'll probably just time lapse it and uh find a place to put the camera in here somewhere good where you can kind of see it all and you know we'll get we'll get this down then we'll move to the outside and work on the outside and uh just kind of work our way around like i said i'm not going to do a big go into big detail of it just kind of uh I might grab my phone here and there and show some intricate stuff that we got to do here and there and talk about it a little bit and just make a little quick video on it today so 
See y'all in a minute. Alright guys, while I was servicing my truck, I had my, these are the covers for my air cleaners. Go on top of here. I bought some lights the other day. These LED strip lights, they're red, that will go inside of there. These LED strip lights here at Walmart, they are bright as hell. You gotta get the ones that say super bright. But they, uh, they're held on by 3M, can't really see. Held on by 3M tape and they are just as bright. I mean, you get two of them for $20 and they are just as bright as the uh, $80 or $100 ones that are made to go inside of your air cleaner brackets that you would buy at like uh, a chrome shop or whatever. So, and uh, I had them uh, on my La Flama Blanca truck over there at BNB. I had them on there for about a year. A little over a year. Never had a problem with them. This is the brand right here. Find them at Walmart back in the electronics section. But man, they are super bright and they work really well. So uh just got back from lunch. We're gonna finish tearing up off the inside in the cab there. But before I put my air filters back in, I was gonna go ahead and get these ready to go. So Kind of did a little scratching on the paint, but we're gonna get this thing repainted anyway. And plus, the brackets what the brackets will actually cover that up when they go on there. The new brackets will. Well, look at what what color this paint used to be, y'all. Used to be a pretty old truck. Now, rat rod, custom rat rod custom <laughs> all right let's get the new one on all right guys i'm back here um ran into a little issue not bad issues just different than what the visor i had before was we just rebolted it to my old truck well, this one comes with some well nuts and what i gotta do here we got a drill Drill these holes out to a half inch and then you insert these well nuts into the hole and then when you screw the bracket will be on there this is all four of them right here but the bracket will be on there like that and when you screw the screw the bolt when you bolt it up it expands this rubber and uh sucks it to the sucks it to the cab so and uh one thing this thing came with and i wasn't really thinking about was the center section right here it i'm gonna have to drill all new holes for it right here so so that that's gonna be tricky kind of getting everything around so what my plan is okay good thing i didn't need that 
my plan is to drill all four of these out, get those four brackets in place, mock mount up the uh, mock mount up the visor, and then mark my holes for uh, for the center center bracket. So we're gonna get after here and see, see what we can get done. Wish me luck. Do a little Hall County customing. Had to do a little bit of Hall County custom work, y'all. Trying to find this one on top. I had to them them little well nuts, rubber well nuts, didn't suck up quite good. So I went and got some fender washers and uh, some lock nuts and some silicone. And that's what I'm going to use on the ones that don't grab good to help hold them. So hopefully that works out. That half inch hole, I'm going to, it said the drill seemed like it was a little too big. So I'm going to drill the hole a little smaller and see if it'll, if it'll grab a hold. All right, guys. I didn't like the way these grabbed on the back side so i'm going to do all of them like i did this one with the washer silicone and uh the lock nut i think that will help a whole lot keep us from having leaks and also secure the brackets a lot better it's just kind of a janky setup really if you want to really want to do this you want to use a huck rivet a good rivet like these but we all we got is the little home depot harbor freight dang uh, rivet guns here and that's not really stout enough for what we're going to do so uh but this should work really good put them big old fender washers on there and them lock nuts and the silicone should do the job it's just a little bit of that hall county customs you know that's what i like to call it when we when we're using a lot of southern ingenuity they were, we're doing that hall county custom work so so uh what i'll do here is uh we'll put a little silicone right around here like so silicone the crap out of it take us a fender washer put this fender washer in right here and to get us our uh, lock nut pull the lock nut up ratchet when we tighten it up with the ratchet it will smash that washer and smash that silicone and make a good good watertight seal so after I get it tight put, put just a little bit more silicone Just like that. So now I gotta see how hard it's gonna be to get to the ones above it. Those are the ones that are gonna be kind of a bugger. I'd like to do I'd like to do all of them that way though. Just to give me a little peace of mind. So let me see what we got in here. Alright, let's see what we can find back here, y'all. Want to bend these tabs back. Just holding the wiring in place. We got a little insulation here. Right there's our, right there's a boat. I can see it's kind of hard for y'all to see there, but I see the rubber came through on that one good, but we're still gonna, we're still gonna do it up here. Just like we did the other one. Take our silicone. Squeeze us a bunch of silicone in there. I know it's hard for y'all to see what I'm doing, but but we're doing it. 
none the less. We can get our fender washer on there. And the big fender washer might not. Oh, there's a. There we go. There's a nut of rivet in the way right there. Get our lock nut. Uh oh. Drop that one. Get our lock nut here. Damn rivets right in the way. I'm gonna jump out and get my gun, y'all. Make this a little quicker and easier. Guys, this has been very tedious. There's a lot I wanted to get done today, and I ain't get, I ain't got nothing done. We gotta get back after it tomorrow. Ah, gum it. <laughs> How about ready for me to say a few choice words? Few inches later. Right, y'all, y'all, I ain't gonna bore y'all with this. I'll, I'll come back to y'all when I get it done. All right, guys. We got her mounted. GoPro went dead. I had hell. Read the directions and it still got me jacked up. But let me show you all why what happened. But it's mounted. Got her mounted. Got her mounted. Looks good. Looks good. It's going to change the whole look of the truck. And let me show you where I messed up at. And this was not in the directions. All right, got a bracket here. Zoom y'all out. Bracket here in the world. Turn that, turn that flash off. Bracket here, center bracket. Bracket here, bracket here. Well, you know the factory brackets was here. And look at there. There was a factory bracket right there. But the brackets didn't line up when they got up here to uh, mount the visor. So... I had to get down here and see if y'all can see it a little better from underneath. All right. I had to plug these holes, put bolts, put silicone where the factory brackets were. The same was supposed to line up with the factory brackets. The only ones I was gonna have to drill out were the center bracket here. And I had to drill those out and put them in. But, so I had to take these brackets off and move them out to this location. There was a rivet here, nothing there. Had to had to drill out that rivet and drill a new hole there for all the brackets to align. And then, of course, seal up. Put bolts back in where the, bra where the bracket was mounted and silicone the crap out of it. Did the same thing on this side right here. That bracket was right here. And I ended up having to move it out to there. So whenever we get this truck painted, we're gonna paint the visor to match and we'll just have them uh, do some Bondo filler, whatever, on those holes and fill it up and seal it up then. Not that big of a deal. It was just a pain in my butt. It was just a pain in my butt having to redo all that. So, so I just got everything secure though on the outside and all I got left to do on the inside here is, uh, of course, I had to redo all this. So now I need to silicone and washer and nut on the new ones that I put on. So 
and then start putting the cab back together wire up my stereo and get ready for tomorrow morning it's about 8 30 right now it's probably gonna be about 10 o'clock when i get done tonight but uh after i get everything put back up and in place uh i'll get back with y'all or if i don't if i'm tired and i don't feel like talking too much tonight we'll definitely get with y'all tomorrow and we'll, in, we'll incorporate a little bit of tomorrow's running in with this video and make it all work so 806 driver enjoy Uh, 
hopefully uh, hopefully you're going now buddy and uh, they got you lined out and uh, no Mac no Mac daddy smack daddy is uh, pounding the pavement so um, they'll go check him out these knees trucking show anyways let's get out here and see what I got going on and uh, we'll go from there load of uh, 32 dash zero dash zero uh, fertilizer might not be on here that old pump is it's loud it's loud but anyway what we're doing pumping in a set of these double cone tanks here and uh, they hold about 3,000 gallons of feed I remember right 2,500 or 3,000 of feed yeah they hold uh, 3,000 of feed We've unloaded right at, right at 15, well, probably about, about 13, 1400, 2800 gallons and all, split it between, and we got about 4800 gallons on, so, like about 2000, so when we get, when we get empty, be up there around that 2500 gallon mark on each one. Got to work on the pump. It's got a little bit of a leak. Got a little bit of a leak. Not too bad, but it's just 30, 32, uh, 32 fertilizer. It ain't nothing hazardous, nothing, no chemical stuff or anything. It's just basic run the mill fertilizer. So that's what we're doing today, y'all. It's my third load. Got the, uh, Wichita Mountains over there. Now we got the Wichita Mountains over there. Wildlife Refuge. Over so there we used to, uh, y'all seen some of my belly dump videos where we do a lot of loading that. That's where we do a lot of, uh, a lot of rock out of over there on the other side of that hill. Beautiful day today. Beautiful day. Anyway, we're gonna wrap up here and uh, we'll get a little driving through. 